Uh, Michael Jones uh, from Variety here with uh, Chaz Palminteri and uh, Robert Celestino, the director and star of Yonkers Joe. Um, tell us a little bit about what Yonkers Joe's about. Yonkers Joe's about a, a car. Yonkers Joe was a card and dice mechanic. And a card and dice mechanic is uh, someone who can manipulate the cards and dice in such a way that they can go into pretty much any gambling situation, such as a crap game or a card game, and take the money. Mm -hmm. And Yonkers is a, he's an artist. He can, he can really do this well. And at the beginning of the movie, he's figuring out how to take down casinos and all. And circumstances arise where his uh, mentally challenged son, uh, he has to take care of him. He's forced to take care of him. And now he's got to figure out how to help this kid in order to get rid of him. And what he figures out is that the only way to help him is by letting him into this world. Right. Chaz, uh, where did you draw from for this role? Well, when I read the script, uh, I just fell in love with the script. I fell in love with this character, and uh, he was the type, of, you know, uh, and he, you know, he couldn't make a commitment. He's the type of Yonkers Joe who just could, he doesn't want to commit to anything. And I, you know, that was a little very similar to me. I got married when I was forty, you know, so um, I really kind of I understood him. I understood everything about him, and I knew I wanted to play this character, and I didn't want it to be sentimental. And Bob was not like that at all, and he wrote it not sentimentally. So I said, I want to be honest, and if the audience likes me, they like me. If they don't like me, as long as they understand me, that's all I care about. Yeah. So I just try to draw on from my experience as being an actor for 30 years and try to put as many colors as I can to it. And having a director who really knew what he wanted, and he was very collaborative, there were some things that I wanted, we were able to uh, make the character. Mm -hmm. D you know, you also had to learn to be a magician in this, you know. And talk about kind of the fine line between con artist and magician. Well, when you say magician, he was, yeah, yeah, you could say that word. I mean, he was a guy who really can take dice and, and, and cards and make them fall his own way. And, and, and people who know Bob is really good at that. I mean, Bob really can do the tricks. I had to learn a lot of them. And Bob kind of just taught me. And we, for hours and hours, we would repeat it, repeat it. Because I did want to do some of them on my own, mm -hmm. where you could really see my face and see that I'm doing it. And that was really very important. Um, but uh, it's an art. It's a really, when you look at it, it's an art. And watching Bob do it, I, it was like an artist. Yeah. Did you ever use yeah. this? Uh, um, well, let you me, use the skill? Let, let me, can I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You know, it, it's not only that he was so committed in learning these moves, and he, and he did, and they're not, like all sleight of hand, they're, they're, they're not easy, but also what he did is he created a nuance around the moves. I've seen a lot of movies where someone was a pool player and couldn't hold the stick. You know, so so he was able to be to, to create the nuance around not just making the moves, but uh, uh, th who this character was in uh, situations that demanded tension. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the things about a mechanic that's very interesting is um, the, the the few people that I've I've interviewed, they they'd say to me, forget about getting caught. We can't even afford to take suspicion. And people aren't actors. When when suspicion arises, they they see it in their face and their you know, and, and that's when they start to put them to sleep. They start right. to make false moves. They go to their pockets, pull out cigarettes. And, and we created a scene in, in the film where uh, some tension was going down, and a good mechanic has to smell the blow or getting caught before the person who's giving the blow even knows they're going to do it. And Chaz was able to create this aura and this nuance that really went beyond the moves. Yeah. And Chaz, it seems like it, that's less to do with dialogue and more to do with body language and yeah, subtlety. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, without a doubt. And you ha it has to come from somewhere. I mean, I grew up with these guys. Where I grew up with guys like this. I, I, I grew up in card in crap and card games where a lot of money was transferred back and forth with a lot of tough guys. So growing up with those guys and watching them, you know, obviously you pick up things from them. But the important thing to talk about when we talk about Yonkers Joe is that it's not just a gambling movie it's not a movie about a car shock it's really a movie about a father and a son True. and where his son is has down syndrome and is let out of the out, out of the home and now he's they plop this boy right in his lap and a guy like this who's a mechanic he doesn't want this boy around he wants to be able to move to run around and he doesn't want any attention brought onto him and a boy with down syndrome brings nothing but attention so it really goes to it's a, a story about a father and son and how they both kind of like redeem each other with their love well, thank you both for coming by. It's great right. to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.